We have to install Home Assistant. Hey guys, this is Gio from Smart Home Makers. In the next five minutes, I'm going to answer that question. We were looking at the cheapest solution, the easiest solution, the most flexible solution, and a tech savvy solution. Let's get right into it. Start with the cheapest option, the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is what I started with with Home Assistant. You can pick one up with an SD card and the power supply and the case for around $80. And this is one of the easiest and simplest ways to get started with Home Assistant. Home Assistant recommends that the SD card is at least 32 gigs class two. Now, if you're looking for something that's easy to install, then get the Home Assistant Blue. It costs around $140. It gets you an out of the box experience with Home Assistant pre-installed on it. The hardware behind the scenes is an old Droid N2 Plus with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of flash storage. Now in the package you also get a power adapter and a case. So this option is the flexible space saving option. So if you already have a computer running, maybe a, a Linux machine or a NAS, NAS is a network attached storage. So maybe you can get a Synology or a QNAP. This is what I used to have. I was running this right up to a month ago and I installed a virtual machine, a VM on top of it. Now this is gonna cost you actually absolutely nothing if you already have the hardware. So this actually could be the cheapest option out of them all. But if you had to buy it, it won't be the cheapest option because obviously a NAS costs around two, three hundred dollars at least for a, even a, a base model. So this is quite, it'd be useful for the use cases of space saving because you're, you don't need that extra ethernet port or the actual device. So you have one device and you have multiple things running on it and also flexible because you can give it more power, more RAM by easily changing it. And this option here is a little bit of a tech savvy option. You can have DIY your own or droid like I did. I got a two gigs RAM, so I, I saved a bit of money and I didn't go for the $130 version, which is very equivalent to the Home Assistant Blue, it actually is the same thing. And the only reason you would actually do it is because you wanna play around with it or you already have one of these devices somewhere around. Or like in my example, you can't get your hands on one and you're just eager to experience Home Assistant with the same hardware. So you're willing to do a bit of extra legwork. If you've got an Intel NUC laying around, you can use that and it's very powerful for this use case compared to, for example, a Raspberry Pi. And you can pick that one up for around $350, a starter uh, nook. You can also get, I haven't got it here on the slide, you can get a Raspberry Pi 4, and you can also use that with SSD. And that's also another option. And that's a little bit more complicated than actually using the Raspberry Pi as is, in my opinion, at least. So to recap, if you're looking for the easiest option, get a Home Assistant Blue. If you want to play around with tech and experiment with things, get an Android or get an Intel Nook or a Raspberry Pi 4 with an SSD. If you're looking for something cheap and you haven't got existing hardware running, go and get yourself a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Just try it out, see if you like it or not. And you can always reuse the Raspberry Pi for other projects if you don't want to keep using Home Assistant. If you want the flexibility of a virtual machine and you actually don't want that extra device around, you know, in your server, collecting dust and stuff like that. If you've already got a NAS, if you've already got a server, I really recommend this course of action for you. And it's gonna cost you absolutely nothing, just a little bit of CPUs and disk space on your NAS. If you wanna see me actually installing this old Droid, or you wanna see me installing on a VM, I'm gonna leave the two videos right here consider liking this video if you've enjoyed it and you want more people to find it subscribe to the channel if you want more tips and tricks smart home related and i'll see you in the next one